and welcome back to Tokyo Tuesdays, the segment in which I head to the Tokyo Disney theme parks to sample and review every last eatery. For our 61st episode, we're hitting up the very simple and easy to locate World Bazaar's Ice Cream Cart. Finding the World Bazaar Ice Cream Cart is, as I mentioned, very easy. Starting in Tokyo Disneyland, proceed into none other than the World Bazaar itself. Keep going straight, passing through the first main intersection of the park. Continuing on from there, you'll notice the refreshment corner coming up on your left. There, right outside, you'll find the World Bazaar's ice cream cart. The World Bazaar's ice cream cart is as simple as a cart location can be. Well, almost. It does have an umbrella, after all. A simple light blue with bronze and silver trim, this is a true cart location with wheels that work, so it can and does tend to move around a bit. It's a little loud here today because the marching band's out, but I like the marching band and I was able to get a table for a cart location, which was super rare. Um, so yeah, I just went to the ice cream cart uh, that's right off of the World Bazaar and I'm sitting at Ice Cream Cone's table because there was one available. I got the tiramisu ice cream sandwich, which looks like it's going to be super good. Uh, so yeah, let's Let's dig in, let's try. Mm. Gotta get pictures. Now for the ice cream sandwich, before it melts. Tiramisu ice cream sandwich, which sounds really interesting. It's not bad. So it's about what you would expect from an ice cream sandwich. Nothing too jazzy. Um, the flavor is different from just your, like, your regular cookies and cream ice cream sandwich, which I am you know, chalking up to the fact that it's a tiramisu ice cream sandwich. For a hot day, something quite nice. Today is not a hot day, but today is not a cold day either, so I thought I should probably take care of one of the ice creams before it gets too cold. That's a very quick one, I know. We'll be moving on to the next place soon enough, and I will see you there wherever that happens to be. Bye. Time to review. Service is a 3 out of 5. I'm a little tempted to give it a 4 out of 5, but it is just a very simple cart location. So no matter how complimentary she was of my costume, I can't really justify giving it that 4. The service was efficient and friendly, and pretty much everything that you would expect, although not really anything above and beyond. 3 out of 5. Atmosphere is a 2 out of 5. This is a very, very standard cart location. I like its pretty blue paint job, but with the exception of the lantern, there's not really a whole lot to this cart. It is very, very generic. It's you know, designed to blend in wherever it goes. It matches the World Bazaar, but it would also feel at home in Fantasyland or Toontown. There's not a lot to this cart location, and it's designed to sort of blend wherever it goes. So it's nice, it's clean, but it's also kind of boring and standard. Two out of five. Price is also a two out of five. Maybe it's just me, but 310 seems like a bit much for an ice cream sandwich. I know that it's the special tiramisu flavor, but it's still just an ice cream sandwich. It's not even in the Mickey Mouse shape. Sure, it has Mickey Mouse printed on it, but it's still just your standard ice cream sandwich bar shape. Yeah, two out of five. The food is also a two out of five. I did not really enjoy the tiramisu flavor that much, and I was expecting to, so it was kind of disappointing. Also, just as an ice cream sandwich, it wasn't that great. So it's not a food that I'm expecting to buy again in the future anytime soon. Two out of five. 
Overall, this gives the World Bazaar Ice Cream Cart an average rating of 2.25 out of 5, which seems pretty much like what you would expect for a cart location like this, so we'll leave it there. With a 2.25 out of 5, this ties the World Bazaar Ice Cream Cart with its neighbor, Ice Cream Cones. I'm gonna go ahead and slot it in just underneath, earning it 56th place. Meanwhile, on the cart service lineup, it's going to go ahead and earn 17th place. So, that's it for this week. Come back next week if you want to find out where I'll be then. Hint, the day has finally come to select this eatery. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave those down below. We'd love to hear from you. Give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like what we do. We'd surely appreciate it. If social media is more your flavor, you can find us there. Links to that in the description box. And I will see you next week for another Tokyo Tuesday.